There was an earthquake, wasn't there? I think I had that dream again. I think I spoke with Gardevoir. She said something important. That's it. She did say something. You have come here to perform a certain role. And for that role, you became a Pokemon. Gardevoir knows. She knows why I became a Pokemon. She also said something about a role. What did she mean by that? I wish I could see her again. Good morning, Cinequil. Huh? What's the matter? Is something wrong? Oh, I get it. The earthquake earlier. Cinequil, you're worried about the same thing I am. I should have guessed, Cinequil. Alakazam's team hasn't come back yet. They say that Groudon is powerful. It has me a little worried. But Alakazam's team is tough, too. They should be fine. Anyway, we agreed to let Alakazam deal with Groudon. We don't have any choice. We have to wait for them to come back. We have to do what we can for our part. So let's do our best with the rescue team. Well then, let's get the day started. Uh... Um... Um... I'm Why Not, and this is... Why my fat? We have a notice on the bulletin board outside the Pelipper Post Office. Wah, Buffett! Please look at it for me. Please, please. Wah, Buffett! Please help me. I have to go now. Wah, Buffett! What was that? What was that all about? A little Pokemon. Did that boy say he was a why not? I think he wanted us to look at the bulletin board at the Pelipper Post Office. Maybe Why Not and his friend have a problem on their hands. So they must have a help wanted notice on the bulletin board. Only one thing to do. Let's go check the Pelipper's Post Office bulletin board. Well, I don't see why not. Let's go check it out. Why didn't they just give it to us outright? We had a mailbox right there. I think they would have noticed it. Let's see. The only one that stands out from all the rest is this one. Punish bad manky game. Seems a bit unusual. I guess we'll accept it. There was a job posted on the bulletin board which said, Punish bad manky. Did you two put that job? Yup, yup. Wah, my fat! A bad manky gang is going wild in our forest. Everyone's upset. Wah, Buffett! We don't know why they rampage around, but they're always angry and attack anyone they see! Wah, Buffett! Oh no, that is a problem. Cynical, we should go. Thank you! We're counting on you! Wah, Buffett! Well then, I guess we're going to the Uproar Forest today. This mission was such a weird contrast from our previous adventure. One minute we're refugees who are running for our lives, and the next minute we're just hunting a regular gang of bullies. To be fair, I certainly didn't mind the change of pace. It almost felt too easy, especially with Absol by our side. Alex Zam was right. We needed the rest after such an exhausting journey. While we weren't exactly taking it easy by going back to rescue work, we certainly had a much easier time with this than our previous adventure. It almost made me question why Why Not and Wobbuffet didn't just do this themselves. Absol told us that Why Not and Wobbuffet were strictly defensive Pokemon. They can't learn any attacking moves, so it's not exactly easy to defend themselves. Apparently, it can be done though, and they could have the potential to be wickedly strong Pokemon if they plan their moves right. But these two were a special case. Perhaps they were just lazy? Who knows? 
Oh well. It's not like we'd ever turn them away, even if they could take care of this all on their own. So let's just take the time to appreciate this laid-back rescue mission. While going through this dungeon, we found these weird chestnuts lying all over the place. They didn't exactly taste good, and they didn't seem to have any nutritional value either. They were also covered in these spiky shells that were kind of hard to open. So what exactly was the point of them? Or better yet, why do I keep picking them up even though I find them so useless? Perhaps it's just a po- Perhaps it's just a Pokemon 6th, or maybe even 7th sense. What am I even talking about? Ugh, maybe I need more rest. Whatever. Oh well, I think we're getting close to the end of this dungeon. So I guess it's time that I wrap up this little inner monologue of mine. I really should try and document these things from time to time. Perhaps all of my inner thoughts would be interesting for someone to listen to later down the line. Nah, that's crazy. Who'd ever want to do that? Huh? What is it? You? We don't like to brag or nothing, but... We can get furious real easy, you know that? What really irritates us is when we see some dim-witted face. Raw! That vacant expression. Raw! It's ticking me off! I'm seeing red! Monkey! Get him! It's frenzy time! So... we were fighting three mankeys. We fought a couple of them on the way up here, so it wasn't anything that we weren't expecting. They went down pretty easily. They were just a couple of easily agitated Pokémon. And before I even knew it, the battle was over. Like we promised, we showed the Mankey gang they shouldn't monkey around. That should teach them not to be so wild. Everyone, thank you for everything, really! Wow, Bob! Yes, we're filled with gratitude! This is our thanks! Hmm. This. a peeled chestnut? Yes, it's a peeled chestnut! You see, we. don't have any money! Wow, Bob! So we can only give you a chestnut as our reward. Are you unhappy? Um, no. No. We're fine with this. Your chestnuts are delicious. I think they're great. <laughs> a little money would have been nice. I hope you don't expect me to eat those. Hey, you! Oh no, the Mankey Gang. What about that? That Mankey gang, do they chase us here to get us back? That's right, you. You got lucky. You don't mess with us. We're not gonna lose this time. We'll pulverize you. Monkey, crush him! Whoa, look at that! It's a chestnut! It is! It's a peeled chestnut! What? what Whisper, whisper. What are they doing? They look like they're having a discussion. Wah, about it. What's going on? Ah, uh, listen. You got something we want. That peeled chestnut you have. Can we have it? We, uh, love Jill Pestuts. Like, we love them so much, we can't think of a life without chestnuts. Can't you just get chestnuts by yourself? You know how chestnuts have that spiky shell? Trying to peel that spiky shell? Well, it hurts. And we end up losing our tempers. That's why we're asking. Give us that peeled chestnut. We'll do whatever you want. Hmm. Cynical, what do you think? Should we give our peeled chestnut to the Mankey Gang? Well, it's not exactly all that precious to us, so why not? Hey, they might even return the favor. Oh, I know. Listen, Mankey Gang, how are you with physical labor? 
Physical labor? You mean muscle work? We have muscles, but we don't like work. But if it's for that peeled chestnut... Okay, this is what we'll do. We were going to make our rescue team base something more impressive than this. Rescue team base? That's right. Our rescue team base. If you would help us with the building of a rescue team base, we could give you this peeled chestnut. How does that sound? Whisper, whisper, mutter, mutter. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, we'll help. Really? You'll help us? Yeah, leave it to us. We'll carry in the materials and get the place built, doubly quick. In return, hand over that peeled chestnut. Me too! I'll help too! I'll spit silk for gluing things together. I'll help too! Wow, about that? I felt bad because we only had a peeled chestnut for your reward. Wow, about that? <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Okay. Let's get a move on. Okay. Okay. I'm surprised we made it this far without opposable thumbs. Ooh. Our base is coming along quickly. Wow, it! We owe everyone for this. Wow, it! But there's still lots to do. We still have difficult things to do. Wow, it! That's true. But we're getting close, right, Monkey Gang? Huh? Look, over there! What's the matter? We need to get back to work! Don't wanna. What? This work's too boring. How do you expect us to keep going? Yeah, that's right. I don't wanna do this anymore. You might change our minds if you can get us more peeled chestnuts. What is this about? We just can't be bothered. We need peeled chestnuts to motivate us. We have a problem, Cinequil. I don't think the Menke Gang will work unless we get them another peeled chestnut. I guess we'll have to give the Menke Gang any peeled chestnuts that we find. A bit drafty last night. See if we could get this place finished up so I could go back to sleeping peacefully. Good morning, Cinequil. Looks like that sixth or seventh sense came in handy after all. We already had some peeled chestnuts from our first visit to the Uproar Forest, so we didn't need to make any return trips. All we had to do was give him to the Mankey Gang, and we could continue working on our team base right away. Huh? Did you bring us a peeled chestnut? Ooh, a chestnut! You want a peeled chestnut? Come on, give it to us. We'll work hard for it. Yeah! A peeled chestnut! Alright, you layabouts. Get it together! Chop, chop! Why don't you quit lounging around yourself? Get moving! We'll get hustled and renovating your rescue team base. We'll carry in the materials and get the place built doubly quick. You just wait. Hmm, I wonder if they'd like the chestnuts if I used a fire attack on them. Then we could have chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Eh, probably not. 
Okay then, now that we've given them a third chestnut, let's get back to work. Finally. This day has finally arrived. Cinequil, it's ready! Finally! Our go-getters rescue team face. <laughs> it's so cool. Every time I look at our rescue team face, I only see coolness. Its resemblance to you is a nice touch, Cinequil. We all worked very hard! It was very hard, but it was worth it! Wow, Buffett! <laughs> Everyone, thank you! Say there, there's something I wanted to ask. If the rescue team base is finished, does that maybe mean... You won't bring us peeled chestnuts anymore? <laughs> of course! We're finished with work on our rescue team base. To our Mankey gang. Sincerely, thank you for everything. Hmm. 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 Okay! What? what what? What are you doing? Stop that! Hmm, you know, now that I think about it, isn't it kind of conceited to live in a house that's shaped like your own head? Well, I guess it's too late now. The interior's certainly nice, though. Good morning, Cinequil. So now that we got a brand new rescue base and a brand new mailbox, what else is there for us to do? We still have more rescue missions coming in, which is nice. The newspapers were still talking about the incident with Ninetales, so that definitely made things a lot easier for us to get our name out there. And in a positive light, no less. Mudgib actually suggested we do something new today. Rather than going on regular rescue missions, there was one place in Pokemon Square that we haven't visited yet. It was to the south of the square where we could find a Pokemon named Makahurita, or Makuhita? I'm not exactly sure, but supposedly he could help us with training. He has a lot of tutorial dungeons that could be used to strengthen up our skills, without having to run the risk of going through an actual full-blown dungeon. Let's go ahead and check it out. This is the Makuhita Dojo. Through rigorous training, one begets true power. Where do you wish to train? Makahurita had a dungeon specifically designed for every type of Pokemon there was. It was really impressive. You choose this maze? Your decision stands. Let the training begin. These dungeons were all incredibly short, each one only being three floors long. And if we ever lost in one of them, we wouldn't have to worry about losing any items or money. We would just be sent right back out and we could try again right there. So it was a really nice place for us to hone our skills and try to survive throughout all different types of type matchups. The end of each dungeon had three strong Pokemon that all served as the area bosses. They were considered our final trial for the dungeon. Once we did that, we could finally exit and show Makahurita our progress. 
Supposedly there was a reward in it for us if we were to clear out every single dungeon there was. Not all of them were opened up to us yet, so we couldn't get that reward. But Makuhurita said that he had some nice But Makuhurita said that he had some nice prizes to make it worth our while if we visited more often. Not exactly sure what that was, but I appreciated the chance to train all the same. Ah! Oh, you have succeeded in your training! You've shown your worth! Without a doubt, you have grown more powerful from your training. May this success drive you to train even harder! Needless to say, we spent a very, very long time in this dojo.